Adam Tim here from QBKing77.com here to do a video doing an overview and a quick review on the official FI27 update on the Samsung Epic 4G Touch. This is an update being rolled out by Sprint now. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and go into settings, go to menu settings, scroll down, go to about phone, and you'll see Android version 4.0.4 still. Uh, you'll see build number FI27, the last four digits there. You will see this update being pushed out. Uh, very soon to very sprint customers so this will be the latest build as of right now i'll be doing uh, updated how to root videos along with updated how to unroot videos so expect those in the near future first of all uh, usually it's a good thing if a uh, manufacturer and carrier are pushing out constant updates but with this phone it's not necessarily a good thing because it just kind of shows how uh, how bad the First updates were on Samsung's part, the first ice cream sandwich FF18, and then FH13, and now they have to keep pushing out another maintenance build, FI27. But from what I hear, this FI27 has fixed many issues that anyone, uh, that everyone has been having um, in regards to ice cream sandwich. It is very smooth. I've noticed that opening and closing applications, everything uh, runs smooth, no lag whatsoever. Um, and I mean, also battery life I've heard is good. What's funny is by default now, before, by default, the uh, battery percentage was turned on. So when you go to display and you can hit, uh, where is it? Display battery percentage. Before the battery percentage under the uh, battery icon was turned on by default, so you can see it there. Uh, but now it is turned off by default. I think that is because some people were coming in and complaining about battery, battery life. Uh, so they had it off by default so people don't know exactly what their battery is at and can't really tell exactly how uh, what increments there it is uh, being reduced at so that's a little interesting tidbit there another thing that has been removed with this update is connections optimizer which is great so you go to more mobile networks i believe before there was a con sprint connections optimizer that has been taken out which is good because it's more of a hurt than a help it was definitely a hassle to control and for those of you that didn't even know it was there it would randomly turn on and off your Wi-Fi uh, radio and you weren't even sure why it did that. Otherwise though, um, you have uh, another bug, well another bug, but uh, something that's still there is the task manager uh, bug when you press and hold the home button. You still got that little gap down there, um, which shouldn't be there. Uh, it should be full uh, black screen. I don't know why they still haven't fixed this little display bug, but it's not a big deal because it is just a display. Uh, a visual bug and it's not really something that messes with the the ROM at all also uh, with some I can't remember if it was on an official build or not but in some of the leaked builds it did have a backup and restore option within settings that has been removed completely so that's just something that they have removed also now you uh, what's been fixed is that picture messages can now send on 3g before there was a bug that you couldn't send them on 3g but now you can my uh, number isn't on my epic 4g touch at the moment so I can't show you that but you can now send MMS over uh, 3G mobile data which is a, actually a pretty good update because obviously that could pose a huge issue for some people uh, you can still go into applications and then go ahead and where is it go into sprint ID and under sprint ID you can hit continue and go over to my ID tap on it and then you can still use the stock ice cream sandwich browser uh, browser stock ice cream sandwich launcher there with uh, apps widgets conjoined into a horizontal drawer uh, so that's just a quick option that you can still use which is great because uh, you still have the folders option when you drag and drag and drop applications on one another it will open up a folder as for lock screen still the same thing where you can tap anywhere on the screen and swipe out of the circle and it unlocks it uh, it also still shows shortcuts to missed calls and miss text messages as well. It's really just about it though. It, it's updated some of the bloatware applications. I'm, I'm not exactly sure which ones, but I know they have updated a couple of them, but it definitely should feel faster. Um, your connections, it should, I've heard that uh, it has connect, uh, it fixed connections and it made it so it connects faster with, uh, I believe just 3G, 4G switching off between the two along with uh, signal strength. I've heard that has been improved with this build so hopefully that holds true uh, theme wise everything's the same there haven't hasn't been any updates with the theme it's just about everything I did want to show to take a screenshot it's volume down and power button press and hold both of them sorry at the same time press and hold both of them and it will take a screenshot for you just kind of keep that in mind for those of you that were wondering on how to do that with ice cream sandwich just press and hold them both at the same time 
Uh, you can swipe away notifications still. You can still pull down your notification bar while on your lock screen. That's just obviously uh, features that have been there with the official update anyways. But I did want to go over some of those changes with FI27. Um, if you have any questions at all, feel free to ask. Just leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.